<laughs> Welcome to another Sports Focus. Will I you am stop? your host, John McNeil. Yes. Hey, Mr. Kevin. What's happening? How we doing, brother? Doing good. Mr. McIntosh, how yeah. we doing? How you doing? How you, you doing? Relieved. Did exactly. you wash your hair? <laughs> I washed my hair. Oh, okay. All yeah. right. Okay. okay. Really? Like you going to act like that? Like that. Okay. All right. Yep. Now, let's get You wait right. for both you two. You wait. <laughs> both of yeah. you. Don't you mind wait. us, folks. Don't mind you us. Wait. You know. Uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> let's, let's not start. Now, what do y'all think of the new uh, LeBron mask? Now, he got the clear and the black ones. Which one you prefer? Neither. Neither? I like the black one. I like the black one. It's looking fearsome. I know he looked tough too. Mm. Oh, you like <laughs> yeah. And a LeBron fan. That's, okay. So, oh, okay. Yeah. All right. I think he looked like. Oh, do I did buy his USA jersey when he was. Oh, he looked, looked like a superhero. You did buy a USA jersey. Yeah. Oh. He looked like a superhero when he got the black one on. I hope he go back to that one. The NBA Tony. Flash. Now. Oh, remember you remember back in the day when Michael Jordan had too much red and, and stuff in his sneakers? They said, look, um, we need just a little bit more white in them sneakers. It's amazing. Boy, when they Who's trying to NBA now? Who's a, who? I don't even know the fella's name, but uh, he Who's looks kind of funny. Well, All right, uh, let's, get to, let's, let's get to Mr. Oh, no, Sharper. Okay, let's get to Mr. Sharper. The curious case of Darren Sharper. Uh... Former football player, mm. played in the NFL for mm. over 12 years, yes. played for the Vikings. From uh, my home state. Really? Where? He's from my home state, Richmond, Virginia. Richmond, Virginia, damn. You know, that's, serial, serial, uh-huh. Murray. He, that's what makes it worse. He's yeah. a serial, huh? Darren Sharper has been accused of being a rapist. Serial rapist. Serial rapist. Let's get it right. Serial rapist. In two states. <laughs> Three states. Three Let's states. Right. Three states. Let's get yes. it right. And drugging too? Drug is he drugging? Drug, drugs is one in California. Um the other got some in Louisiana. Well, actually then it's four because he yeah. has one that's pending in Miami and also has one that's pending in Nevada. Oh mm-hmm. man. Now he was apparently arrested with some other gentleman, Eric Nunez. Yeah, twenty six years old. Uh, mm-hmm. Don't know. They didn't say what so, they were doing. What's the matter? You know, you, you can't get a woman. The way that I hear my wife talk about him, when you look at the NFL Network, she's yeah. like, "Oh, he has cute dimples." I'm like, "Uh huh, uh-huh. stay away from him." I remember that NFL <laughs> Network when he was, "Oh, I'm pretty," and he's smiling in the camera and all mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Now was you see he's fired from the NFL Network yeah. in January. But how come it's amazing that they're not throwing that out there? Um, on their network there. Because he wasn't a cowboy. A former colleague. <laughs> Remember that? I bet you if that was Michael Irvin, he's been suspended and da 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 didn't tell the whole thing. But then again, sometimes they're different than the, uh, ESPN. ESPN would tell everything. Yeah. NFL Network usually tries to. ESPN ain't going to tell off. everything because when they get people in trouble, they ain't got to tell what they do. Oh, they did because of Memo Oberman. Harold Reynolds. Harold Reynolds. Oberman, yeah. he was. Yeah, they got Harold Reynolds. They, yeah. uh, they try to get Harold Reynolds, Harold Reynolds sue him and won yeah, that money back. They tried to throw him down the river. Yeah. But Let's we know see. how the NFL Network do. They 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 like taking care of their own. They keep it nice and squeaky clean. Mm-hmm. Really? And, hence, Mr. Sapp being a first ballot Hall of Famer. How the heck oh. he got the first ballot? You know, let's not talk about that. Let's, All right, let's, 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 admit, let's switch it to the <laughs> NFL now. Uh, the NFL is coming up with... Now, it's not a uh, rule yet. They're trying to propose. But they got another rule, too. We could talk to, about To ban the N word. Oh, man. N I G G E. What? No? We're going to ban the word no? E R O G A. Either one is not supposed to be used. That's right, damn it. But. E R O G R. But. G A. Now, now, let's open this up now. What do you guys think about this? I get the floor to you first. You first. Why? You want to hear what I say? Yes. Yes. Who cares what word they use? It's not hurting nobody. That's what they do. That's what they say when they're on the football field. When they get out there, they pat each other back and say hello to each other, and they keep it moving. Mm -hmm. Do you think this is going to open things up now? They're basically the owners, management, rules makers. They're basically telling these players what can come out of their mouth. Do not say it. You will get a fifteen-yard penalty. I don't. How? First of all, I would love to know how is the officials supposed to uh, do this? Yes. 
They're going to be in the huddle. They're going to have to listen before they play, during the play, after the play. Then that opens up to other words and other... Now, this is just not the N-word. They want to start with the N-word, but they're saying gay terms so, so and basically, all this other wait stuff. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So you basically what they're saying, they just saying You can't do well, trash talking in the NFL. We can't anymore. do trash talking. No trash But talking. that's the NFL. You can yes. say those other, you know, profanity laced words, but you can't use the, the N word and the gay terms and all this other stuff. Like I've said before, those words were around before, they'll mm -hmm. be around today, they'll be around tomorrow, and probably the next day after that. Now are they supposed to have like a list of words, you think? A list of words that the refs is going to know that they cannot say. Now, they get to the difference between pass interference and, and exactly. everything else. So they're supposed to focus in on, oh, what the what? players are saying. Wait a minute. What if the ref said a word? The ref going to get penalized? You got a point. Yeah. What if the ref said something? You got to put him out too. That was inappropriate. But, but, but remember this. You know there are some dirty players in the game. Yeah. 15 yards could mean a game-winning field goal or to keep a drive alive. I'm going to provoke you to make sure you say this word so they can hear you mm -hmm. and I can get that 15 so, yards. And, and, then, and then it just goes into, you You want on you on something right there. It goes into, he's, he, he, he said it. Hey, he right. said it. But, he said it. But right. basically, 15 yard penalty. basically what they try and turn the NFL into, flag football. I'm sorry, but that's what it's turned into. You're right. They're changing the hitting. If you see like a, a receiver or someone catch the ball, and it seems like a violent hit, like the head mm -hmm. flag. Right. Now, they want to change um, the point after. I think they say they want to move it back or get rid yeah, of it. Yeah, make a 43-yard field goal um, point after. Kid. I don't know. I think this N-word thing is uh, a little bit kooky. Herm Edwards said it best. If the NFL is, is 70 to 80% black, mm -hmm. you want the word stop being used? Tell them to stop using it. But then again, they're grown men. They should know. Exactly. So if you want to clean up, it shouldn't be a rule to tell grown men to stop calling each other that. You should police yourselves and, what do they, and learn how to shut you up. Know, and what do they care? We, us, the viewers, cannot hear what these guys are saying. No. Don't care what they're saying. They're saying all these types of things, whatever. We don't care what they're saying. So why no. should... As far as the NFL. But that's the lead in to the Michael Sam thing. Because you know some a lot of words are going to start being said. Because he's going to be in someone's locker room. Be it mm -hmm. through the draft or be it as an undrafted free agent. He's going to be in someone's locker room. And you know how guys talk about women. Mm -hmm. And God do something that's this, that's that. And there are all those closeted guys in the NFL now who stomach all that crap when they hear it. You know, just brush it off and probably go in the corner somewhere and cry in the middle of the night. Now you have this guy coming in, and it's going to change the whole ball game because they know who he is. Then now you got to be on eggshells trying to figure out what can you say around him. I can't say. Punk. But but he said, "I deal with it. Let me deal with it." Right. He dealt with where he. He came out at the right way, unlike the brother down in Miami, who decided to run and hide. And blame the guy next and to him. And blame this dude. He blamed that it on. Dude. He blamed it on the N word, but he was about to be out it. Mm-hmm. That's the way I feel. Oh, Martin? No. Okay. Yes, Jonathan Martin. I mean, you know. Is, did, he, did he come out yet? He no. He didn't come out yet. He, no, he waiting to see if another NFL team will pick him up. But I'm pretty sure if he they don't, he'll tell it. If he yet, yeah, that's right. If he don't get the job, the next thing you know, he's going, oh, well, yeah, I am gay. Mm -hmm. Just wanted to let you know because I'm too scared to come out and say what I really am. Mm -hmm. But Michael Sam, he definitely put his stuff in. He's but saying, remember, hey. But right, like you said, though, even though he said they let him handle it, there's policies in place in the NFL that do not allow you to have that kind of stuff in your locker room, especially when you know that person's sexual orientation yep. in that locker room. Because, so like I said, they, they all know. of that's going to come into play. They all know. Yeah. See, if, even if he didn't say it, if Michael Sanders come out and say, the team's going to know, oh, this player is this way, mm -hmm. this player that way. And they look at him like, okay, so let's go. But now it's going to be a microscope on that team who Michael Sam go mm -hmm. to. Right. You say, well, how are you dealing with And me, if I was a player, then I would say the N-word to the, uh, the people sticking the microphone in my face. Mm -hmm. And what do you think how I'm dealing with now, it? Now, now, you just said something now. They're saying um, you can't say the N-word uh, during the game, mm -hmm. right? Now, mm -hmm. what if you're in a press conference? Remember Westbrook, yeah. Michael Westbrook, he did. <laughs> <laughs> I 
know it's like a show that clip to y'all, but you know what? No, we can't go there. You know, they interview him in the locker room, and he says it. Yeah. Is he going to get fined? Or is the NFL just in general, if you are a part of the NFL, you will get fined for the gay bashing or and or the end, saying the N-word or... But someone made a good point one time before. They said, well, you can't, I can't go into my place of business and call everyone the N-word every time I get upset. Then I'll be called into the office. Mm -hmm. So they're saying they're trying to use that as a mirror. This is your place of work, so you shouldn't be allowed to walk around saying, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but it's entirely different. You're on an open field where trash talk Emmett yeah, Smith said in the bottom of pile, he said, I've been punched in the groin. I've been bitten on my leg. I've you been can't do punched. that now? Yeah, he said, I've been done. Everything's been done to me under there. They've been talking about my mother. They've been talking about my wife. Yeah, but it's part of the game. Deion, what you do? You Deion recently came out. Deion Sanders, he recently yeah. came out and said that every team he's been on, there was somebody who was gay. And he yeah. said they knew who it was. Yeah. yeah. Five, so that's five teams. That's Cowboys, mm -hmm. 49ers, 49ers, mm -hmm. the Falcons, mm -hmm. the Ravens, Redskins. and the Redskins. Yes. Mm -hmm. Deadskins, whatever they want to be called. Yeah. Uh, well, then, hey, then what's, the, what's the problem? Exactly. Yeah, but remember, for years they had a rumor about Troy Aikman. Oh, yeah, that was that, that punk Skip Bayless. Yeah. Yes, you are a, a chump, punk, whatever you are. Okay. Yeah. Enough, but I don't even need to even talk about him. Now, after going from that, I want to continue. My Jackass of the Year nominee. Yes. We we started off this year with Alice Rodriguez. Yes. And we have another one. We're now, from Arizona, state of Arizona. We, the state of Arizona. We can put them in that category, too. Now we have another one. Mr. McIntosh, enlighten us. Our nominee for this week is a caller from the Dale Hughes Show. Talk about how else places. Why? That commercial, they had the Cheerio commercial that was on the end. Cheerios commercial that was on the Super mixed, Bowl. The mixed racial family. And it's talking about mm -hmm. this lady called the Hill. It must have been a prank. Say, I am with the Society of Concerned Cereal Eaters. Feel that. Cereal eaters, people. Cereal eaters. People that eat cereal with milk. I mean, mm. they'll try. She feel that <laughs> that's not a type of commercial to see because <laughs> black folks don't eat this type of cereal. And... Black people don't eat Cheerios? They don't eat Cheerios. I eat Cheerios. It say don't eat Captain Crunch. It say, is it Captain Crunch? Is it talking about uh, Frankenberry? Say Frankenberry for the white person? Kyle, Chuck, Kyle Basically, Jackson? this woman, was. she got on the phone wow. and said that uh, Cheerios, ca certain cereal is for white people mm -hmm. only. And then she proceeded to say that we... She, D.L. Hughley, who is African-American, said, well, what do black people eat? She's like, I don't know what you people eat. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and D.L. Hughley also, I don't, I don't need special K. I know that much. Yeah, she, she did mention yeah, special, 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 yeah. yeah. He said, he said, he said, he said, he said. He said, well, we got um, sugar bears. He said, that's black. That's a do black. Can't and get he, enough of But he didn't, he didn't do it. People, that was a great commercial. It's funny. Ruined. By this person, I hope it was a prank, but I, I think D.L. Hughley wouldn't be down yes. with that. No. So, this, this it was now this. where you do you remember where we can listen to this? Um, because I what is it, Black America Web, Black, Black, Black America Web, dot com. Dot com. Black America, and you go Web. look for D.L. Hughley, um, white collar talk about cereal. Yes, it's a beautiful thing, freaking believable. That yes. was the most. As far as I'm concerned, this this person who uh, is is our jackass of the year nominee, she's in first place. Yes, right now she, she, <laughs> she, she is. <laughs> yes. She is in first place. A non-sports person being in first place. Hey, but a jackass. But the way it equates is because they it, it, was, it was a Super Bowl, Bowl commercial. commercial. It was a Super Bowl commercial. It was about Cheerios. About which cereal. I eat Cereos. And, I gotta put a pound of sugar on you, it, but I eat Cheerios. And you can't. Only white people can eat Cheerios. It said milk is white and it's pure. I said, really? She pours milk on That's what she says. She pours milk on it and it's pure. So we don't need that mixing stuff. And folks, that's all I have I for you. I guess you don't eat multigrain. <laughs> you don't eat multigrain because that's sort of color. <laughs> <laughs> folks, that's all we have for you. Peace.